Installing casing in a wellbore involves running a large diameter tube inside a slightly larger diameter hole, which leaves little clearance for any displaced fluid to travel through. Should this annular clearance be compromised by buildup of mud cake on the centralizers, for example, as the casing is run, the fluid has little or nowhere to go. Surge pressure can be created and can result in excessive bottom hole pressure and often causes loss of returns. Whether you are running or pulling casing, there is a risk that you could take a kick. The two factors that increase the risk of taking a kick during casing operations are surging and swabbing. While running casing down the wellbore, surge pressure builds and increases the bottom hole pressure of the wellbore. Surge pressure is unavoidable, but the amount of surge pressure is controllable. The three factors affecting surge pressure are how fast casing is run down hole, the clearance between the casing and the well wall, and the drilling fluid's viscosity. If surge pressure is too great, the spike in pressure below the casing shoe can fracture the formation. This action is known as surging, and it can lead to lost circulation. This may lead to a drop in the mud level in the well and a reduction of the hydrostatic pressure. A lower bottom hole pressure may result in an underbalance and leave the well susceptible to a kick. On occasion, an installation complication can arise and casing is required to be pulled out of the hole. In such a case, swabbing can occur if the casing is pulled too quickly, much like a syringe being filled. The bottom hole pressure can be reduced and an influx is swabbed into the well. You need to be able to account for the close clearance between the casing and fluid and filling the hole up as you pull out. Just like surge pressure, Swab pressure is unavoidable, but controllable. The factors that affect surge pressure also affect swab pressure, and they are the speed that casing is pulled up the hole, the clearance between the casing and the well wall, and the drilling fluid's viscosity. If swab pressure is too great, bottom hole pressure will reduce to the point where it can no longer hold back formation pressure. This action is known as swabbing, and it can result in a kick being pulled into the well. 